up YouTube? So today's video will be all about this Fenty foundation review and concealer. So um, if you guys have not watched my last vlog, um, it was my engagement photos vlog. I used this foundation and concealer throughout all my pictures and they all came out bomb. Uh, the makeup lasted a very fucking long time. Like I'm talking about like 12 hours with um, minimal oils and stuff like that. So if you really want to see like a raw wear test and everything like that, then go ahead and check that video out. I will actually link it up in the card. So just click this video right here and um, you guys can get onto that. So, but so if you are liking today's look, then babies, all y'all need to do is just keep on watching. I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna get your popping and everything like that. So, but yeah, if you guys do not know, this hair is Beauty Forever hair. This is the same hair that I, like it's the same hair. I haven't done anything but take the wig off, wash the lace and everything like that and reapply. So, I mean, for me, Beauty Forever is like the new wave, sis. Like, I don't know why you're wasting your time with all these other hair companies, but Beauty Forever hair is like really the wave but um so if you guys are liking these results of this foundation and concealer and like i said it is the fenty beauty foundation and concealer and i'm in shade 385 and in the concealer i got shade 350. so if you guys would like to get on to this review then just keep on watching hey hey all right guys so Today I will be doing a first impressions of the Fenty uh, foundation review and the Pro Filter concealer. I know I'm super late, but life gets in the way, work gets in the way. But nonetheless, I promised you guys this video, and here it is. So um, when she launched her new shades of foundation, um, I quickly went up there to Sephora and got it because um the last time she like i say a year ago she dropped her foundations and stuff like that and so i couldn't find my shade um and the i think the shade that i have a foundation in my um bathroom is 370 and honey i've i've tanned since then so uh but it never was a perfect match it always made me feel like i had a mask type of thing on so i really couldn't get into the whole fenty foundation vibe last year so when i heard that she was releasing more foundation choices i was like okay maybe this time something will actually fit me and i actually like it um so i picked up shade 385 and yeah, it's a really, really, really good match. Like, I'm so happy she came out with that because now I can actually say I like the foundation um, and I really, really, really do think it's a good match for me. Um, and I also, like I said, picked up the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. And the shades, I didn't get 385 because the 385 Pro Filter Concealer, it's, you know, of course it's gonna match hand in hand with the foundation, but I didn't get it because I didn't feel like I needed to actually have that to like spot conceal. The, if you don't know, Fenty Foundation to me is full coverage. So I didn't really feel like I needed to go ahead and get that Pro Filter Concealer. So whenever I was going the few shades up, let me see. All right, so I didn't get the 385 Pro Filter Concealer. Um, I didn't really like 370 because I felt like it was too close to my skin tone. Um, 360 to me had a pinkish uh, type of undertone to it. Um, so it's either the 360 or 370. I really think it's the 360 had a pinkish type of undertone to it. And, and I mean, hell, when you're in Sephora, the lighting is totally different. You could think one way about a product. And then when you go outside in natural light, you think like, oh my God, I actually kind of, you know, don't like it. Or, oh my God, I actually, this isn't what I needed type of thing. This is, this didn't look as good as inside the store. So I went ahead and went out on a limb and got the shade 350 and y'all 350 is so good for me as far as in like concealer wise so um but yeah so those are the two shades that i got and let's just go ahead and jump on into it so all right so i've already washed my face uh moisturized my face i also um if you guys don't know i was 
out of nowhere was suffering with acne and um, I went to my dermatologist and they put me on Retin-A. And so I've been using that, so I've already applied that to my face. The only thing I have not applied is a primer. So the primer that I like to use with this foundation is it's the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, I, I noticed that yesterday when I wore the foundation and concealer together, I did have my primer on and I noticed that my skin was able to uh, put more oils and things like that. Hang on, changing my mirror over. There we go. I noticed that yesterday whenever uh, I forgot to put on my primer that my skin was just a little bit more oilier than normal than I had already noticed whenever I wore the foundation with this primer. So um, just a heads up, if you're really oily like me, you will need a primer. One of the best primers that I've found for this is this Too Faced primer. So y'all i have to have this damn headband on because i you know i be having my edges laid and stuff and y'all thank y'all so much for those comments and y'all are always like you know oh my god your edges are laid your hair is laid well girl it's because i have to have this on and in place because i don't like to get foundation or any of that other gunk into my hairs and i'll be having to have them laid down so i have to put this on whenever i'm doing my makeup. So, bum bum bum. The moment that y'all have been waiting for. So, I shake my foundation up. I put about three pumps onto the back of my hand. And what I like to do is just spot it all over my face. I was seeing some people's reviews and they were saying like, oh, it's not full coverage, honey. I mean, as y'all can see, I have a few little acne spots, but my bad. Somebody was riding down my street and like I have my window blinds in my office open so they can see directly into my office. But uh, anyway, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So some people were saying that it's not full coverage, but to me, it is very full coverage, honey. Like, it covers up a lot of my scarring and everything. Perfect. So, now what I am going to do is to go ahead and use the concealer. Um, so, with this concealer, it has a doe foot applicator. Um, it looks like this, which I'm pretty sure y'all have already seen before. And y'all, a little goes a very long way with this concealer. So, I right, y'all, sorry, I had to get my baby situated. But, um, so, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the concealer. And like I said, it does go a very long way, so you don't have to put that much on. I really feel like this foundation and even the concealer goes a very, very, very long way. And as you see, I haven't re-dipped back into, I haven't re-dipped back into the container at all. So, that is definitely a good thing. It's very creamy, I will say. It's very creamy. But, this is the first time that I'm having to actually dip back into it. Which I'm not going to do a lot because I just got to get my chin. But yeah, so... Um, I like to let my concealer set in a little bit. To me, I kind of feel like it performs a lot better. My bad, I was looking at some of my comments. 
but um, I'm pretty sure it will perform a lot better. So what I like to do in the meantime is try to go ahead and do my brows. Hopefully they won't take too damn long, you know? For the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this portion, okay? So eyebrows are done, so now it's time to blend everything out. I have been obsessed with trying to use a, I've been obsessed with using a concealer brush now as opposed to a beauty blender. I find that whenever I do use a brush, I feel like the coverage is not sheared out and I feel that I don't get as oily. So, y'all, this is like, and I take mine all the way up over my eye so everything can be like seamless. But y'all, this is blending pretty damn good. And so another step that I like to do to make everything seamless and flow together is I like to take my foundation brush with no extra product on it and blend out the edges of the concealer to make everything appear seamless. Okay. So this is how we are looking. See if I can get my camera to focus. So everything's blended out. You can't really tell where one starts and one ends. So, so far so good guys. Like, yeah, it's really blending pretty good. So now what I like to do is go ahead and set my face. I am using the Patrick Star setting powder. Y'all, I really love this powder. Like I really do. It is so good. And it photographs so damn well. Like the product is like really powdery. It's like a white type of peachish substance, but it looks really good on women of color. Excuse me. <laughs> but so now is the step where I like to take a beauty blender and actually just push this product in. And yes, my beauty blender is not as clean as it should be because I used this yesterday, but hey, you know, this is real life, like this is real life. All right, so I don't like to powder uh, contour anymore. I mean, I don't like to contour with any liquids anymore. What I like to do now, and this is what I do on an everyday basis, uh, I like to contour with a powder. So I will be going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Dark Deepest. And so in order for, my, in order for me not to um, put my contour too low, I will always go up above where I need to, just a little bit. So if these are the hollows of my cheek, I kind of go on top of the hollows of my cheek. You get what I'm saying? So my contour I hope this lighting is good for y'all. Like, y'all tell me in the comments if this lighting is good for y'all. Also, what foundation shade do y'all use? Did you find yourself having to basically go up a few numbers in the concealer? Like, cause I know I'm not the only one that had to go up a few shades. Okay, so now, now, 
Now what I'm gonna go in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in mahogany. I really, really, really love this powder to contour y'all. And I'm using that same brush, sis. I'm keeping that same energy, sis. <laughs> and I'm just gonna try to focus this back towards the hairline. So now what I like to do is go ahead and I like to go ahead and brush everything all together with my It's my kid, y'all. He's in my office. He woke up. He has to be in my office, but um so now what I like to do is go go in with a big fluffy brush and my MAC uh, Studio Fix face powder in the shade NC45. And this right here just kind of blends everything together. The contour, it wipes away some of the powder. Once again, giving everything a seamless finish. All right. So to cut my cheeks a little bit more, I'll go back in with the uh, Patrick Star powder. And I use the butt part of the beauty blender and just cut my cheeks. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. And in between that time, what I like to do is go ahead with my blush and get it shipping. My new ride or die for blush has been e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. product. And it is in the name Blushing Rose. Y'all, I found this in my makeup bag and like y'all, I have too much shit in my makeup bag like i have like three containers of full of makeup and i just frequently like to circle back through it to see if there's some stuff that i used to love that i need that i want to bring back or some stuff that i've never tried that i want to try out so um i fell in love with this blush and so i just take a blush brush and put that on and y'all it's very pigmented so be careful sis all right, so what I've been liking to do is to actually go in with my finger, put the blush on my middle finger and just swipe this all across the eyelid. It's something about this that does something to me. And I'm normally not even a girl that likes to wear eyeshadow really, but having just like a little peekaboo color, you know, on your eyelid makes a difference in the way that my makeup looks to me. Time to wipe this powder off and yet again, I will be using that same big fluffy brush for, that I have for my face powder and wipe everything away. So the mascara that I'm using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It is a staple for me. Mascara is on. So I'm gonna pop these lashes on and I'm gonna come back to you. Y'all, waiting for eyelash glue to dry is like the most tedious thing about doing makeup is because like I really just wanna just pop these holes on my eyes and be like gone, but you have to wait till the glue kinda dries before you apply. Okay, 
so lashes are on i'm gonna go ahead and put on some lipstick oh, sis i almost forgot i gotta do my eyeliner All right, y'all, so I have the NYX lip liner in nutmeg, and I just line my lips. Okay, so lip liner is applied. I'm going in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte liquid lipsticks and I'm using the color Beeper and Times Square. I put Beeper on first because it's a little bit darker. Okay, so Beeper is applied now. So what I like to do is go in with Times Square and put it directly in the middle just to kind of give it some dimension. Okay. So I'm gonna hop off camera, do my hair, change my outfit, and I'll be back, guys. <laughs> 